Welcome guys, this is Asao and this is going to be my very first Battlefield 3 video. Now to start things off, I'd just like to point out that I'm not a Battlefield 3 player. I'm in fact by heart a diehard Halo fan. But as I'm sure a lot of you have heard about, they, uh, Humble Bumble had a Humble Bundle, I say that every time, they had a deal going on where if you made a donation, and if you matched the average donation you could get Battlefield 3. Um, within the bundle. So I thought, hey, I'll jump in on that. So I loaded up Battlefield 3, not really knowing what to expect. Honestly, I was expecting a little bit of Call of Duty, and having not been a fan of that game, I honestly wasn't expecting too much from Battlefield 3. But to say the least, I was pleasantly surprised with Battlefield, actually. Probably the first and biggest thing I noticed was the fact that if you don't work with your team, you're not going to win. And I, I wasn't expecting that. I, I went in with some friends and we're all just like, yeah, try to get a good KD. I mean, most people care about KD and most shooters I've played. And yeah, KD, what's your KD ratio? That's kind of how a lot of sho shooters are oriented or around your KD. So I go in. The, keep in mind, this is not my first game I've been playing for quite a while with this footage. But anyways, my first game, I probably went like... 3 and 20 or something like that, and I was like, oh man, it's not a very good KD. But then I looked at the scoreboard and I'm thinking, oh man, I'm actually not bad on there because I got points from captures and all this sort of stuff. And I realized that most people, I'm looking at KDs, I mean, sure there's the odd guy who's like 50 and 1 or whatever. For the most part, the game is very objective oriented, which I was not expecting at all. I know. I, I say this from experience in Halo a lot of the time I'd go in um, screw the objective I want kills I want a good KD King of the Hill is a really good example of that because I if you run into the hill you're gonna die you're not gonna have a good KD I mean sure you'll get some kills but if you go into the hill in any King of the Hill you're gonna die um, but Battlefield that just it just doesn't seem to apply I mean uh, sure you can go disarm a bomb you might die, but most people they just go for it because that's the way the game is played. It's a very objective oriented game and most everybody plays the objective, which was quite a nice surprise because I was kind of thinking, oh man, my team's not going to help me out here. My, my team's not going to help me out at all. Now that does happen, then that is the case sometimes, but for the most part, the Battlefield community from what I've experienced thus far is actually quite helpful and very team oriented. A cool feature that I've really enjoyed thus far in Battlefield is um, the progression system. So by progression I mean your overall level um, and also the progression through each kit. And then you also progress through uh, each gun and unlock new things. Which I really like because it always gives you something to do. You never think, man I don't really have anything left to do. I mean surely you can unlock everything. It's a great effort. But for the most part, you can always try out a new gun, you can always unlock new attachments, and it just gives the game a lot a lot more of a, a lasting appeal in my opinion. Also the fact that progression can come in many different forms is another great feature of the game. For example, you have kill assist, um, suppression assist, capturing objectives, destroying vehicles, reviving teammates, healing teammates, giving teammates ammo. All of those things give you points and they all progress you through the game and you can unlock more things. Now the reason I like these features is because it gives you a way to progress through the game by not just solely getting kills. So you can play a game and you can, you can go quite negative but you could be on the top of your team for points just because there are a lot of ways to get points. So. Even if you're not a very good player, as you may have noticed, I'm not amazing. I can still get points, I can still progress through the game just by contributing in different ways than killing. Now with that being said, getting kills is a lot of fun. Getting kills gets you a lot of points, and I'm not saying that, that, that kills are not a big part of the game. They are, in fact, one of the biggest parts of the game. But I'm merely just pointing out that there are different ways, and it adds a, a lot of variety to the game. One of my favorite team-oriented aspects of the game is your squad. Now your squad is a 
group of one to four people. Uh, you can see right here, I have my squad member there. I'm not going to spawn on him this time. But when you spawn in, you have the option to spawn with your squad. Which is really cool because it keeps you guys together and it encourages you to work as a team. And when you play with your squad, you actually get extra points for working with them. Say, for example, you revive your squad member or you heal your squad member, you'll get a, a few extra points just because you're playing with your squad or you repair his vehicle and sorts of stuff like that. Which I, I really like that because it really just gives you the reason. I'm going to play with my squad, I'm going to work with this team, and that might not sound like a lot of fun to some people, but I have definitely had the most fun in this game when I'm playing with my friends, when I'm playing with my squad, or even when I'm just with a bunch of randoms and we're working together. That's when I've had the most fun, because it is a very team-oriented game. Now that's not to say there aren't lone wolf aspects, you can definitely go up a hill and snipe and take on an enemy team, that's, that's totally fine, that's up to you, but for the most part I really recommend approaching the game with a team mindset. So with that I'm going to wrap up my thoughts and first impressions on Battlefield 3. Now, after watching this I encourage you to give Battlefield a shot, or maybe you've tried it before, but I recommend you go back and give it another shot because it is quite a fun game and I've had a lot of fun playing the game and I intend to continue playing this game and hopefully, well actually not hopefully because I've already pre-ordered Battlefield 4 so I will be playing Battlefield 4 as well when that comes out. So this is a Sal. This has been my very first Battlefield video and I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, keep in mind I'm still very new to the game sure there's lots that I don't know, lots that I still need to learn. I could have very easily said some things that don't really make sense, but just bear with me, that's that's the reason I'm I'm just learning like you once did yourself. So this has been a Sal and I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time!